Hi everybody, uh, Father Sean here with Rose Picard, our Godly Play Youth Formation uh, Christian Education Treasurer and Jack of All Trades. <laughs> Jackress? Yeah, I like Jack that. Jackress is good. That'll be fine. We're coming to you today uh, live on tape from my office at the church uh, to talk to you about stewardship and finances a little bit. It's been a few weeks that we've been all just kind of set in our homes waiting and not been able to be at church for the last two Sundays and we wanted to come with an appeal to you directly rather than a written word. Um, of course you know that the church operates off of your giving. It does and without that, without our giving, it can't happen. During this time especially as people are not present, it's more important than ever to remember pledges and Rose, um, if, if they're wanting to give their money still, um, give their pledges still, submit them, what are the ways in which they can do that? There's several different ways. Um, you can sign up for ACH, um, which is the easiest and the best way for us to get your pledges. Um, it's more consistent and it helps us know exactly what we can pay, you know, utility wise and for all the other things we need to pay every month. And we've also set up um, an account with Tithe dot l y so let's let's go back to ach is there a fee for ach there is not a fee for ach which is really for either one of us for the church or for you guys um you can stop it at any time if you need to if you're having a hard time one month you can just email or call father sean and we can pause it for a while so it's not like you're going to tell us to take your money every month and then that's it um we we can change the amount if we need to um, but there is no charge to you and you and I are the only ones that see that, right? Yes, we're the only ones that have access to that. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay, well, what was the other thing? Tithe.com, Tithely? Tithely.com, it's T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y. Um, there's a link on the resurrection.org website. Um, there's also a link on the letter that I sent out in, in the email, in the uh, newsletter. Um, that information we do not see. So if you want to put your credit card or your bank information there, um, Father Sean and I don't even see that. That's um, all through the website. Um, it is You can do it as a one-time payment, or you can do set it up to um, actually do it monthly or weekly. Um, there is a charge for the church for that that you can cover if you so choose. Um, it's a percentage, um, but you don't have to. That is something that we're willing to, to pay if we have to, um, just to make it easy for you guys to continue with your pledge. Because any giving is good giving, right? Exactly. Right. So, and, and of course they can still send in checks. They can still send a check to the church. Um, I know Chad's here um, a couple hours every day. Yes, yes. So to make sure and get the mail. So if you feel more comfortable sending a check, that's fine too. Awesome. Is there anything that the church is facing right now? I mean, we're, we're in pretty good financial shape right now, right? We're in really good, we're in good shape right now. Um, but of course we don't know how long we're going to be closed and not have people in the church. So there are things we still have to cover. We still have to cover all the utilities, obviously, um, all the salaries. We don't get out of paying those. Um, and there can still be emergencies that come up. You don't know what's going to happen just because we don't have people in and out of the church. There are still things that could come up. Um, we just, you never know. For instance, the, the water, the water main broke last saturday it was flooding into the street and so um it was the cities and they fixed it but it could have been ours mm -hmm. these are the type of things that we're, we're looking at right 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 and i think another important thing on this tithely app they can also donate expressly to coronavirus aid yes correct? yes there we i did set up a fund for coronavirus aid so if you want to contribute to that specifically um there will be a drop down box when you um, go to put in your information and how much you want to give um, and all of that money will go directly to that fund so we can help um, families that maybe can't have lunches for their kids or um, need items because they're out of work. So For themselves. For themselves, yeah. yeah. And and this that goes beyond mm -hmm. that even in that once we all go back to work, if there's still money left in this account, this is inevitably going to cause some uh, strain on some people, I would think, afterwards. So I it think can so. go to help with that as well. Um, so again... You know, in the midst of a crisis, the last thing anybody wants to talk about is money. But at the same time, we have an obligation to this place to steward it not only in our prayers and to steward it not only in our lives, but also with our, our treasure and, and to maintain those pledges so that this place 
sees this in almost a seamless way. The building misses you. Her walls speak to me and say so. Or maybe that's just me wishing you were here. But in any event, I'd like the building to be here when you get back and to be in good order. And in order to do that, we need to ensure that those things uh, come in and that we continue to steward this place from afar as best as we can. Anything else you'd like to add? Oh, I, we appreciate all your help and your prayers. We really do. So thank you. Well, God bless you and take care of each other out there. Uh, call with anything that you need. I'm always available and you can get me by email or by cell phone. Um, you can probably send up a smoke signal at this point and I'd <laughs> see it from my living room. But take care of yourselves. God bless you. God love you. And we'll see you soon.